few tips and tricks you can use when recording a screencast of a presentation that will make the process a little easier for you and the final product a little more professional. The first is to close any unneeded browser tabs. So if I'm not going to use these, I'm just going to go ahead and close them. But if I have some open that I'm going to share with parents, I'll go ahead and leave them open so that I can record those as well. The next thing you want to be aware of is the fact that you can hide your bookmarks bar. You can do this by holding down Control, Shift, and the letter B on the keyboard, and it functions as a toggle. It's a good idea to go ahead and hide that before you start recording so you have a cleaner screen and more real estate for the presentation itself. The next thing you want to consider is presenting within a browser window. So normally you'd click the present button, it would take over your full screen, and it would make it very difficult to record the screencast. Instead, we're going to come up here to the address bar, click once, which selects the URL, click a second time to deselect, and then we're going to select just this end piece here, the word edit and everything that comes after it. Doesn't matter what it says, edit and everything that comes after it. And we're just going to replace it with the word preview. And when I hit enter, you'll notice I'm now presenting uh, my slide deck within the browser window. Now I'm just going to go ahead and toggle my bookmarks bar off, and you can see that looks a little bit nicer. So I can use enter on the keyboard, just like normal, to advance through the slides. Or I can come down here to the bottom left and use my presenter tools to navigate to a specific slide. I can also toggle on or off the pointer from those presenter tools. When it comes time to record your screencast, you've got a few choices to make. The first is whether or not you want to embed webcam footage. So that would be an image of yourself in a small window on top of your presentation. And you can choose where you want that to show on the screen. If you'd like to include that webcam footage, go ahead and toggle it on. If not, leave it toggled off. The second thing you need to think about is whether or not you are presenting only your presentation to parents or whether you're also going to share some other tabs. If the only thing you plan to record is your presentation, you should go ahead and choose browser tab and then record and pick the specific tab that your presentation is in. That'll give you the cleanest final product. If you need to move among multiple tabs, so that you can show other tools to parents, then you're gonna to wanna to choose desktop, click on record, choose application window, and then choose the window that your presentation is in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click share here because I wanna show you a few other recording things. You'll notice you get the countdown three, two, one, and a few other things I want you to take a look at. Once you start recording, this window pops up at the bottom, letting you know that you're sharing your window, giving you the ability to stop sharing. Don't do that, that stops the recording, or to hide the window. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hide that window. Additionally, over here on the left, you may see tools, Screencastify tools, that you can also close so they don't show up in your recording. Now, of course, I've been recording this whole time. So one of the greatest features of the Screencastify uh, application is that you can come up here and go ahead and click on that icon again and you're gonna get a few choices I can trash the video if I want to but you don't want to do that either because that's gonna start the whole process over you're gonna to have to select the browser tab embed the webcam all that instead you can go ahead and restart your video and I want to show you before I toggle off of this when I'm all done I'm gonna click on this stop button but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and click restart click restart. I'm going to get that countdown again. Three, two, one. And now I'm recording. I can go ahead and close these Screencastify while that countdown's going. And I can now record my presentation. Again, when I'm all finished, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Screencastify icon and then click stop, which will bring me to the final screen where I can go ahead and um, edit the beginning or end of my video if I need to, and then publish it to YouTube. Good luck!